camp is basically a dump because of all the scrap, all the trash, and all the junk. I collect wood off the side of the road to bring it back here and burn it in that at random like I am now. But yeah. I just put together something that's a little bit odd out of junk. I was given a bunch of scrap a while ago from uh, John's Island or something. Some island ordeal that's out here in friggin' South Carolina. Somerville friggin' uh, Ladson area. It's where I'm living. There's, uh, there's like a John's Island or something out here that someone gave me a bunch of scrap metal from out there. And this trailer chassis was amongst the scrap. But I didn't know it until today because I didn't really look at the thing until today. And today I realized, wait a damn minute. I can make a cool little trailer with a couple BMX rims that ain't no good. That still turn, but technically are no good with tires that I don't like. That hold air. So, fuck it. Decided to build something. So I did. Here's the chassis and the wheels. It doesn't look like much. But it's a trailer. Nonetheless. I'm gonna take it to a friend of mine. There's a mount on this side, on the bottom of the frame right here. A little chunk, you can barely see a corner of it right there. But there's a mount right there for a trailer arm. As you can see, there's only one of it on that side. On the other side, it's, there isn't one. There's only one mount. It's for a trailer just like what I've got, what I use. This is the same kind of trailer, but with 20 inch wheels and no axle. You know, no center axle. Instead, just two axles. My trailer has one big axle over there with a couple of big wheels. But yeah, I fixed this up for a friend of mine. Thinking I might trade it or sell it. Eh, I might trade it to him. So I was thinking he could use it because he really needs a trailer. He ain't got one. He had one and it got stolen from him. So I figured, you know what, since I already have the trailer and I have the extra parts and shit, I could make something for him, I guess. Something he could use. Something that's practical and fixable. Like if... For instance, he pops a tire, or a tire goes bad and uh, the tube goes bad with it. He can replace both the tire and the tube easily. Just by buying a BMX bike from the thrift store and going buying a cheap tube from Walmart, and he's good to go. It's that simple with a trailer like this. Yes, you see this trash on here. Oh, there's a can in it, what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna pull that can out of it now. Oh, wait, there's more cans in it. Okay, I'll leave that on the ground for now, I guess. I was gonna throw it in the fire to let it burn. It's got cans in it. I don't want to burn the cans, I want to scrap them. But here's my trailer loaded down with a bunch of metal. But yeah, my camp's a bit, like I said, a bit of a dump. But this is a graveyard of bicycles. Got an 89 Hoop D, 95 Huffy Cranbrook, 98 Huffy Cranbrook, 2008 Huffy Cranbrook from a bike shop. There's an 86 Huffy right there. There's an 07 Huffy right there. Let's see, where else? So I got a, ooh, there's an MTD right here. It's a freaking uh, 78 MTD. Somewhere around here I have a Murray. I can't remember where I put her. I just had her. Showing her to a friend of mine that was here earlier. Hence why I'm up so early. Oh yeah, she's right here. 1972 Murray Sidewinder. It's a weird cruiser. She needs a restoration, but you can see why, what I mean by she's a bit weird. And I looked this thing up. You would think, that's not original. Somebody did that. No, 
this damage right here might be by somebody but these being close together like this is what makes it what it is that and the crank and the ass end of the frame that proves these little kick fins has murray only murray did this only murray that and mtd but huffy never did it schwinn never did it none of the other bike companies ever did it except for mtd and murray which i think mtd is something derived of murray because they got the same ordeal on the back just different cranks but another thing that's similar is the kickstands. The kickstand on this is the same on the MTD. But the mush bones being close together makes it a Murray Sidewinder. That and this little bar right here having no hole in it whatsoever. Where usually a fender, like a bolt hole would, for a fender would be. Yeah, the, side wind, the Sidewinder had a fender, but it only bolted on right here. Here. And here and um, didn't have that extra hookup right here because of how low it was because the back wheel would be a 24 and your front wheel would be a 22 which is hard to find 24 is not hard to find but the 22 however that's a different story but I'm gonna put a 20 inch on it as you can see the crank arms are a bit short because well hell it's a uh, technically a 24 inch frame though it can handle a 26 it's made to hold a 24 it will be restored and yes the bike underneath that flag is an 81 huffy cranbrook an iron frame huffy cranbrook the last year of them at that the last year as well of the size 15.5 crank that's a very very rare fucking bike right there this not so rare but still worth keeping undercover a Schwinn Roxy with a bobber spring front end not really a good idea to fly an American flag back here so use it to cover up some gems I guess this is a free spirit right there behind that Roadmaster hard to see that but that's also a rare bike well not rare but the exact model that it is it's not easy to find you don't see many of them anymore it's not rare but it's not easy to find either and then you got this which is something totally different yeah sure it's on a freaking ride more right now but that don't matter because it's supposed to hook up there's a suspension hook up right there there's another piece right down here as you can see to hook up to a moped this hooks up to a moped engine and rides rides really well but yeah also got a push mower, got a few push mower engine, uh, push mower engine and a bunch of pieces, a weed eater, a bunch of other shit. Eventually I'll have a whole bunch more shit to pile up right here. I'll move all of that to a better spot. I'll have a cruiser section right here to fill in this little area. That wall will continue to be nothing but friggin' mountain bikes and eventually this will be nothing but cruisers and BMX. This will all be BMX. It's already starting, 20 inch. Though that's not a BMX bike, it's a 20 inch. Same size as a BMX. So, therefore, yeah. It is what it is. But yeah, I got a lot of parts. I got a lot of junkers. Got a lot of builders. Got a lot of hard to find bikes. Got a lot of easy to find bikes. Got a lot of bikes that you just don't see anymore. Got a lot of things you just don't see anymore that are outside <laughs> that you normally don't see outside you know in the woods things you wouldn't expect to see in the woods like a let's see does this zoom yes it do 
There's a bicycle shrine right there. That's three dead huffies. An 05, an 09, and a freaking 2012. A Panama Jack, a Neluso, and a Cranbrook. All dead, all bent, all busted, and one broke. Panama Jack got hit by a car. The Neluso has a break in the frame. And the 05 has just rusted the fuck out beyond use beyond repair so yeah makes its own shrine trying to zoom back out there we go but anyways this has been another installment of the bicycle graveyard my junker travels basically junk man uh junk man chevy that's me if you actually enjoyed my video, please leave a like, and uh, if you want to subscribe, go right ahead, but you don't like, uh, if you don't like people surviving the only way they can with what they have, then basically you can go screw yourself. I don't care, but if you want to see more videos of me or my graveyard or the things that I can build the things that I have built or even the things that can be built as time goes by please subscribe because there will be more videos and if you want to leave a comment give me a suggestion on something or tell me of something you know or even if you want to meet up or something leave a comment and tell me when you can come by. I'll be right here on Palmetto Commerce. Usually up and down Ladson Road riding this beater truck, pulling this trailer, picking any junk I can find, loading this thing up. A trailer just like that is right here. And it hauls junk. It has hauled so much stuff. Every single thing that you see here has been hauled here on this trailer everything and I mean everything now I do hope you enjoyed my video y'all try and have a glorious day I just wasted 13 minutes of your life how's about that ain't that cool yeah crap how do you turn this thing off uh Hmm, hold on. Before we do. You can barely see it, but it says if it has rust, I'll pick it up.